Hi. Today I'd like to discuss professional courtesy, a topic that I think everybody has way the fuck wrong. Somebody got this idea that professional courtesy means that I'm not going to say something bad about somebody that works in my industry because they work in my industry and that makes it unprofessional and oh, you're not supposed to do that. We can't say that about them. Oh, just move on. Fuck that! If somebody screws me, you know what my idea of professional courtesy is? My idea of professional courtesy is letting every other motherfucker that works in my business know that this person screwed me. That this person screwed me out of money or time based on their arrogance or their ignorance. And if somebody else has screwed me, then I am going to let everybody that I know know that. You know why I'm going to let everybody else know? So that they don't go through the same thing. I was having an argument with a friend about this the other day. We would have not even been having that argument had somebody else had the courtesy to let everybody know that this vendor routinely fucks people. Because if somebody had actually gone out there and described their experience properly with somebody in this business-to-business -business relationship, then I would have figured that out because I do my research on people before I do business with them. And if I had figured that out, I wouldn't have been stuck there doing business with somebody who screws people. And I wouldn't be here bitching about it right now. Uh, this also comes up because I have a blog series called Genius of the Week on my website, and this deals with customers that I sell to. And I don't use this to describe customers that complain that something didn't ship the same day, or that they got the wrong part, or that something didn't go right, because you know what? If that happened, you deserve to use me as your punching bag. Not repeatedly, but just a little bit, you deserve to use me as your punching bag. And I'll let you use me as my punching bag for a little while, or my receptionist if she's here. But what I, when somebody buys a part and says, the part was the, the connector was supposed to be here. I am computer repair shop. I am 10 years experience. Man, man, man. I don't give a fuck about you. I don't give a fuck about your experience. Because the listing said, the connector's here. In bold, capital letters in the top. And the picture has the connector here. In 2000, by something resolution on the fucking uh, JPEG picture that I took. Don't tell me about your fucking experience. Don't tell me about who you are. I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't give a fuck about your experience. What I care about is that right here, right now, in this one email, you're telling me that you're a jackass. Ignorant, stupid, arrogant, motherfucking jackass. And if that happens to be the case, and you are going to go on and on and on about it, then I have no reservation about hitting print screen and publicly posting this so that everybody else who may have the displeasure and misfortune of doing business with you knows that maybe they shouldn't. And that's another thing that I want to talk about in this business. Arrogance. As technicians, we are always dealing with people who doubt us. So we have to be very, very confident in who we are so that the other the people who are coming to us will believe us and have confidence leaving their 2000 or 10000 or $20,000 devices with us. And sometimes that confidence can lean over into arrogance. And it happens a lot where technicians will just get the sense of arrogance and lose their sense of humility and lose their humble nature and just think, well, this is the way I think it should be. Well, that's how I think it should be. And sometimes that is the way it should be. But you need to be able to get your idea across to somebody while still sounding like a human being and, a, you know, and sounding like a productive, civilized member of society instead of like an arrogant, insolent piece of shit. But going back to my topic, I won't post about anything that happens. I'll, and I'm not going to post my opinion until the end. What I'll do is I'll post what somebody said. I'll post my reply. I'll post a picture of what they bought so that you can subjectively decide for yourself, based on the objective information that I'm giving, whether or not this person is an idiot. I'm not going to make the conclusion for you, but I will make a nice uh, connect the dots page for you that, if you know how to connect the dots, will lead you to the logical conclusion that they're a moron. Those are two separate things. And this very, very often happened in the music industry and drove me nuts, especially because in the music industry, more than any other industry, People would be willing to throw you in front of the motherfucking J-Train on camera to get one step ahead. Uh, and 
it's because of that that they're so afraid to badmouth anybody who screws them, anybody who takes advantage of them, who rips them off for money. I swear to God, there was this one motherfucker who came to the studio and actually tried to send the owner a bill for $2,000 because the studio cat rubbed up against his Gucci bag and ruined it by touching the bag. And nobody in the industry wanted to say anything about this stupid motherfucker named Damon because they were afraid of what would happen to them, of the repercussions, or of, oh, well, we can't say anything bad because he says he works for this record label. I don't give a fuck about your record label. I don't give a fuck who you work for. You are an arrogant jerk-off, and I want nothing to do with you. And I'm going to make sure, as a professional courtesy to my colleagues who work in this industry, that I'm going to tell them all about you by name so that none of them want to work with you so that they don't have the displeasure of repeating my experience that's my idea of courtesy do I have courtesy to the person who's screwing me? I have courtesy and I have sympathy to the person who's in my shoes I don't give a fuck about the person who's trying to screw the person in my shoes I care about the people who are like me I care about the people who may wind up becoming me understand how that works? So if somebody screws you, if somebody wastes your time, talk about it. Think about it. Because I can, I can tell you, one of those places that I posted that blog about, they went out of business six months later. And I'm not going to say it's because of me. It was because that's how they ran their business. And I'm pretty sure, maybe just based on the fact that that blog entry, according to my website at the time, had 63,000 views, that at least one person Googled the name of that business and found my blog and saw that this is a business where somebody who can barely compose an English sentence yelled after buying the wrong part and they thought, hmm, if I bring my computer to this place, they're probably going to buy the wrong part and my repair is going to be delayed by one week. And then they decided to call up a business that could do it the same day because they actually had their shit and their inventory together. And I don't see anything wrong with that because in that case, I actually helped a consumer to get something faster and better. And, I, and they didn't have to pay any money for that information. So I think that professional courtesy is a good thing, but just make sure you're being courteous to the right people. People will tell me, you can't run a business like that. You won't be successful running a business like that. You won't make money running a business like that. And it's funny because when I log into my merchant services account, it seems like people are still giving me a couple of thousand dollars every day. And that's cool. Now, don't get overexcited. This is New York City. Making a couple of thousand dollars every day does not mean you get to keep any of that or see any of that. But you know what? That's a topic for another video. Fuck it. Movie. Documentary. Miniseries? You know what? I don't even want to get into it. I'm, I'm having a good evening. I'm happy. I just don't want to think about that right now. So, that's professional courtesy for you. Have courtesy towards the right people. That's professional courtesy.